Today I have a diversified multi-asset portfolio valued at over £100,000. But it all started off with a single £400 investment on the 21st of November 2017. Having recently graduated from university, I got myself a graduate job and entered into the world of work. But in order to meet my financial goals, I knew I needed to study the art of investing. So I read countless books on the topic and came to learn that investing is one of the greatest wealth creators there is. And through the five principles I'm gonna share with you during today's video, if you follow every single one of them, I can't see a reason why you can't grow your wealth in exactly the same way too. There are three types of people out there when it comes to money. You've got the splurger, the worrier, and the money maker. The splurgers are those who can't resist the temptation for new cars, clothes, and coffee. They spend their whole life earning income just to spend 100% of it every single month. They're the ones that always fail to get financially ahead in life because their desire for new stuff outweighs their desire to meet any kind of financial goals. And as a result, no money will ever be quite enough. God, why am I such a loser? Then you've got the worriers who store as much money away as they possibly can. They acquire their money by penny pinching in order to spend as little money as humanly possible. And we all certainly know someone like it. But unfortunately, they're likely missing out on just the simple pleasures in life because every day is thought of to be a rainy one. And then finally, you've got the money makers. These are the individuals that prioritize wealth creation and strive for financial success. They're prepared to take calculated risks in order to better the future that they have for themselves. They use their money to create more money, creating an endless cycle of capital growth. That's cool. Now, in order to help put myself in the money makers camp, I adopted the 70-20-10 rule, which I personally think is a very realistic way to allocate your income over three different pots. You got 70% into living expenses, 20% into investments, and 10% into guilt-free spending. It's a great way to get control of your income, but with a meaningful way to use it. You do things in a way where you pay for all of your necessities, you have some money to invest for your future, whilst also allowing for some fun money to splurge every single month. <laughs> Did you know that if you pay just 1% more in fees over a 20 year time period, your investment returns would be 15% lower. Over a 30 year period investing £500 per month at an 8% rate of return, but also paying an additional 1% in fees would cost you over £130,000. That really could be the difference between you being able to retire versus not. So choosing a low cost investment app in order to start off your investment journey should be your absolute number one priority. Right now, one of the best commission free investment apps out there is Trading212. They're who I use for my own personal investment portfolio and they're way cheaper than some of the more traditional investment brokers out there, like Hargreaves Lansdowne as an example, who charge up to £11.95 per transaction, which is absolutely absurd. Trading 2 on 2 do have some fees that you should know about, but they are absolutely minimal. And one of the best things about Trading 2 on 2 along with if you are just an investor over here in the UK, is that they offer a tax-free investment account. It's something called a Stocks and Shares ISA, where you can invest up to £20,000 per year. As we all know, the government will tax you for absolutely everything in this world, so when you've got an option to take something that's tax-free, then it certainly should be something that you take advantage of. And I will leave a link to Trading 2 on 2 down in the description below. And in order to help you get started when you do sign up using that link, you'll also get one free share valued up to £100. Tell them to bring me my money. Turning 400 quid into over six figures certainly didn't happen overnight. Of course, not all of that is investment returns from stocks. And those of you guys who are close to the channel, will know that I have actually a big chunk of my portfolio actually in a recently purchased buy to let property. However, for the most part, investing £400 per month consistently over many years inevitably resulted in quite a sizable chunk of cash. And there's three very simple reasons for this. The first one is all about taking action because consistent action compounds over the years. And there's a quote that says, small disciplines repeated with consistency lead to great achievements gained slowly over time. And that's what investing is all about, putting your money into the markets and letting the value of multi-billion and multi-trillion dollar organizations do the work for you. Reason number two and three are simply byproducts of this action. Because when you buy into these billion dollar companies that make so much money, they go up in value over time. And you as the shareholder or part owner of these companies means that you get to benefit from that growth 
in two ways. Firstly, you've got capital growth, which comes from the difference between your buy price and the current market price. Secondly, you've got dividends, which is a distribution of a company's profits which gives you an added layer of investment returns. Now, if you really want to accelerate this process and benefit from investing as much as you can, I encourage everybody to do something called an AIP, which stands for an automated investment plan. We all live busy lives, working jobs, running businesses, looking after families and kids. So to make all of this a little bit easier, you certainly don't want to add investing onto your to-do list. On Trading212, you can set up completely automated investments using the Trading212 Pi feature, where you set up your allocation across multiple investments, set the amount you want to invest each month and away you go. It's certainly simple to do and it keeps you accountable, but it also means that you don't have to actually think too much about your investments because it's all essentially on autopilot. And let me be honest, the passive investor is the best type of investor. The other person I didn't mention at the start of the video was the gambler. They're prepared to take big risks for big rewards, regardless of how small their chances may be. And look, investing a thousand pounds and only getting a 10% rate of return per year or the equivalent of a hundred quid certainly won't change your life. So it can be super appealing to look for that next 10x or 100x investment in order to grow something small into something big. That's what she said. <laughs> but the reality is more money has been lost from over leveraging, taking too much risk and blindly speculating than has ever been gained for 99.9% .9 of investors. Paul Samuelson once said investing should be more like watching paint dry or watching grass grow. And if you want excitement, take $800 and go to Las Vegas. But instead of being played by the casino, if you start investing in the right way, you can certainly put the edge in your favor. And certainly don't take it from me, let one of the best in the business, Warren Buffett, explain exactly what you should do. The best single thing you could have done on March 11th, 1942, when I bought my first stock, was just buy an index fund and, 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 and never look at a headline, never think about stocks anymore, just like you would do if you bought a farm. You just buy the farm and let the, let the tenant farmer run it for you. And I pointed out that if you'd put $10,000 in an index fund that reinvested dividends. And I paused for a moment to let the audience try and guess how much it amounted to. And it would come to $51 million now. And the only thing you had to really believe in then is that America would win the war and that America would progress as it has ever since 1776. And that American business, if America moved forward, American business would move forward. You didn't have to worry about what stock to buy. You didn't have to worry what day to get in and out. You didn't, you didn't know the Federal Reserve would exist, <laughs> whatever it might be. And uh, uh, America works. Now, a low-cost index fund is simply a collection of stocks within any geographical market. You can buy an S&P 500 fund that tracks the top 500 companies in the United States, or a FTSE 250 fund which is the top 250 companies here in the UK, or a German, Japan or even a whole world fund depending on your own risk appetite and investment goals. But the final step that I want to share with you guys is probably the most important one. Investing is a marathon and not a sprint. Let me explain why. In 1941, Warren Buffett bought his first stock at just 11 years of age in a company called City Services for $38 per share, which to be fair, would have been quite a lot of money back in the early 40s. Nonetheless, his interest in investing inevitably led him to take over a textile company called Berkshire Hathaway in the early 1960s for an average purchase price and get this, of $14.86 per share. Now what's crazy is Warren Buffett transformed this failing textiles business into a multinational conglomerate, investing in a number of large cap stocks along the way, truly pursuing his financial goals as an investor. But Warren Buffett's success isn't purely from the investments that he's made. It's also from the length of time that he's had that investment portfolio for. Because as the value of his investments grew, the value of his company grew too. To the point where over the past 60 years, he's taken Berkshire Hathaway's stock to be valued at 557,000 $415 per share. In monetary terms, he's turned his initial $8.3 million investment 
into $800 billion. That's a 9,638,454% return on investment. And that's an investment return that you can certainly be proud of. But those investment returns certainly weren't linear. In actual fact, they were exponential. The longer that Buffett held his portfolio, the quicker it went up in value. So much so that he actually generated 99% of his net worth after the age of 50. So in true Warren Buffett fashion, I'll leave you with this. If you don't find a way to make money whilst you sleep, you will work until you die. So if you're looking to start out on your own investment journey and you're intrigued as to what I have within my own investment portfolio, then be sure to click on this video next. But before you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel on the way out. And with that being said, I'll see you over in the next one.